Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. This is Rocky. In this video, we'll see how to add end screens to YouTube videos. Let's take a quick look at an example of what an end screen is. Here is an example of an end screen. I have my end screen placed at 3 minute and 25 second mark and I have two elements in place. One is for showing dynamic playlist, which is basically a list of videos from which YouTube will make the best selection for a user. And then I also have one more element, which is the call to subscribe. Let's move the slider on the timeline just to see how it looks like. So here is the playlist that I have chosen for the user. And then here is the call to subscribe. So as we can see here, these two elements are going to start showing up at the 3 minute and 25 second mark up until the end of the video. So let us see how to do this in one of the new videos that I have. So go ahead and log into your YouTube account, visit your dashboard and pick the video to which you want to add the end screen and click on the edit button. And then click on the end screen and annotations tab. And note that YouTube automatically skips it to the 3 minute and 6 second mark. Basically, end screens are shown towards the end of the video. So let's see what happens if I drag the slider all the way to the right of the video. Note that my slider has stopped. I can't drag the slider any longer. The end screen has to be a minimum of 5 seconds long. That is the reason why YouTube does not let you drag beyond the last 5 second mark. Which means basically your end screen has to show up for a duration of at least 5 seconds. So I want to place my end screen at 3 minute and 15 second mark like so. And then I want to add an element of dynamic video. So I'm going to click the create button against the video or playlist option. And then from the list of options that show up, I'm going to have YouTube select what is best for my viewer. I can choose the first option, which is the most recent upload, and they will pick recently uploaded video and show it to the user. But I just want YouTube to select it for me. Or you can also choose a specific video from your playlist. I feel that leaving YouTube to decide what the best one is for my viewer is good for me. So I'm going to highlight that option and click on the create element button. And it's going to add the dynamic video element as an end screen. And I can move this dynamic element around to any location that I like. I'm not restricted to a specific place, but I'm restricted to moving it within this blue rectangular box. So let me zoom in so that you get a clear idea of what it is. So whatever stuff that you add should be placed and can be placed in the area defined by this rectangular box. So you're free to move this around any way you like, but that must be done within this blue rectangular box. Okay, so I'm going to put this dynamic video to the left hand side and then let me revert back the screen size and let me add the new subscription option and I'm going to click on the create against the subscribe option and then it's going to add my subscribe button to the end screen. But note that it's not showing up here because it's hidden by the dynamic video. But notice that once I hover over the left hand corner of the screen, it shows me draggable handles. So I'm going to click and drag the element to the right hand side and release it. So it has dragged the dynamic video, but I want to swap the places for the video with the logo. So I'm going to drag the video like so, and I'm going to drag the subscription logo to the right hand side, and I'm going to place the video to the left hand side like so. And I want to show this at 3 minute and 15 second mark, so it's showing up really well. So I'm happy with my changes, and I'm going to save so let's see if these options are going to show up at the 3 minute 15 second mark by visiting the video.
watch media. the time. There you go. So at the 3 minute and 15 second mark, my dynamic video is showing up towards the left hand side and my subscription option is showing up to the right hand side just like I have placed over here. So if you want these options to show up at a different time, you can drag the slider and then let's say I want to show up the video at 3 minutes and 7 second mark, I can drag the handle for the dynamic video to the intended time. In my case, I'm going to drag it to 3 minutes 7 second mark and I'm going to leave it over there and I'm going to save it and let's see what happens at 307 by visiting the video oh, at the 3 okay. minute and 7 second mark. So let me go ahead and Okay, as you can see, at the 3 minute 7 second mark, my video is showing up and if I let it play, at the 3 minute and 15 second mark, my logo is showing up. So that is how easy it is to add an end screen to your existing videos. If you found this video to be helpful, please feel free to hit the like button leave a comment, share it on social media and subscribe to the channel. Soon after you subscribe, make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.